uh, Black Shield and Maokai. Ev Evelyn can flank and Sivir, she can peel for her own in the back line with Adam Mobility, with Spell Shield, and she can survive. Yes, indeed. We'll have to see how they do play it out. It'll be a little difficult to hold your horses when you got a Hecarim on your side, but we'll see, Crepo. Why true. don't you guys share with us what you think is going to happen this time around? Go ahead and hit us up at LL Esports is your destination. Hashtag EL win or GIA win. We're getting ready to kick off week number two here in Europe, and here we go. Onto the rift with Elements and Giants. So what happened last week when a Hecarim got a little bit too comfortable up in the top lane without those. We'll see how this starts. In comes Frederick. We're Jumping on him, Arcane Smash. Will the pony get away, or will this be it? Eight spikes are flying. It's first blood, and Frederick is just out of range of the tower. Frederick barely gets out of that with his life. Sprinkle some action in. You don't have to go full, mm -hmm. full UOL, but a little bit. Nice. Just a little bit. Well, Frederick. history's about to repeat itself right now as Whirlib and JWoww duking it out. Frederick oh. comes in. Nice juke from JWoww, Here's and he Dexter. knows he's got some backup this time around. Dexter looking to chase on. They turn their attention to Whirlib. Frederick comes back, however. JWoww might have overstepped his bounds, and it looks like we'll see a jungler for top traded in that top lane. Meanwhile, Froggen is ignited. Peppy is going to go for him, and he even misses the gravity field, and he gets away. Giants though, 1,200, 1,300 gold in the lead. I don't know if you expect Pepe That might get evened up for just a minute. They're going to throw everything on him, the Chaos Storm. But Dexter will end up picking up that kill. And while Frederick was there, there really was nothing he could do. Gap closed to get within range of Pepe Nero, just narrowly avoiding the Northern Flare, the Flail there. But you take a look at the way the fans think at least this game is going to go. That's a big favor for Giants. Peppy's and speaking of, peppy has gone in, but he's going to eat the Glacial Prison, and he might be regretting that decision as the Death Laser comes out. Teleport now. Froggen and Dexter on retreat as Frederick is running down the line. Whirlick follows him all the way to Tower Range, and Froggen is slain. Peppy picks him up. Dexter burning away. Will he fall afterwards? Frederick helps it out, and it ends up being a double for Peppy. Meanwhile, though, down goes Whirlip. The fight is going all sorts of crazy as Peppy is able to make his escape, but Godfrey and Frederick might need a bit more backup here. And down goes Promise Q. Pepinero's back in the picture. JWoww isolated as there's no one left alive. This fight is going 100% giant. Goodbye, and Frederick gets a kill. Elements get baited left, right, and center by the Giants. A little greedy on Promise Q. Solid action from Giants, and they're 7-3 ahead right now. Yeah, and, and speaking of Pepinero, though, he did pick up a, a couple in that fight. Looks like he might do it again as Froggen gets jumped on. Frederick's the one who comes up with it. But meanwhile, a teleport from JWoww means Pepinero's going down. It's a one-for-one -one mid laner from mid, but Frederick is on the retreat. Smited down by the Hecarim. In comes the Onslaught of Shadows, and he's feared right back into Dexter, but he flashes. Uh-oh. Godfred, he could be in some trouble. Promise Q gets the double knockup. Whirlup knocked into the tower. JY now looking to hunt down Godfred, but Whirlup picks up Froggen. And let's see how this fight finishes without the mid laner. Pepinero running amok, but he gets exhausted immediately. And it is a one for one with Godfred dropping. Giants Gaming still come out ahead, I would say, in that one. They yeah, keep but on sieging. As a support player, you gladly sacrifice your life if that means taking down the enemy mid lane and more essentially part of the wave clear. Karma doesn't have enough wave clear here, and Whirlib's going in. Whirlib is going in. JWoww is going to get dropped, and Whirlib flashing at the last minute to avoid the living artillery. Promise Q goes down. Double kill over to Pepinero. Dexter flashing away, hopefully to safety, but no, he goes down. After the turret, they get a few more kills. That's a triple. Pepinero. Ole. And they Again, taps his flash. In addition to that, Giants again escaping death. But you see how how valuable it is to get elements defending one side of the map and then using your mobility to move to another and get these objectives rather than just simply playing for picks. Every move you make has to be tied to an objective. Every move you make, Pepinero. Tries to secure that blue buff. Dexter was the one who smited it away, but he took a lot of damage in his health bar for that one. It has been a big fight over the Froggen. this game. Froggen, where did his health bar go? Promise Q now on the run. They've got him locked up. Meanwhile, Whirlip and Frederick are jumping in to an injured element. There's the Chaos Storm. Godfrey is the only one locked up by the Glacial Prison. And Pepinero is going to carve himself up some beef. JWoww and Tabs are the only elements members remaining. And that is going to be Barrett. Round seeing if he can pull off the Evelyn flank. And it looks like we might be in for a dive here, Crepo. JWoww is going to get bound. Nothing will come of it just yet. Yeah, 
Look at Fedek's position, and I like it. He's flanking, and he has to. He has to surprise the backline of Elements and get a Wombo combo going. They're going in! There we go! Whirlib is targeting out Froggen, but the rest of Giants are on to Dexter, and the rest of Elements tabs. Chunk down, Pepinero going nuts on everybody. Frederick getting some kills for himself. Pepe staying alive. That's a double for a Pepinero. Dexter Yay! is the last man standing as Pepe finally gets shot down. Ace for Giants, and how does Pepinero manage to survive so long? He's the only Giant to go down in his team and five, five for one trade and giant down goes the ward frederick runs in the gravity field runs right on through it promise q as tanky as he's trying to be he's just not enough frederick is gonna flash into the red get shut down by tabs kogma but pepinero meanwhile is going nuts again tabs goes down double kill for the diana Froggen is gonna get melted another triple from pepe and jaywell is the only one to live to tell the tale. Giants, they launched the pain train and Elements just can't stop it. One by one, they drop. We saw Promise Q, even in Unbreakable will get pretty much insta -gipped. And once that starts happening, you know your days are numbered if you're an immobile carry like a Kog'Maw, like a Victor against the likes. Definitely not great for Elements right here. Things are in a dire situation, so they turn Desperate times call for desperate measures. We've got a Fnatic death brush here, but will it be enough? Pepinero is gonna check right into it. They will shut him down, but will they be able to follow up? Dexter's getting chunked out now by Audrey, and Godfrey is on the hunt, is popped. They're chasing through with the ricochet. Audrey comes up with a pick. Promise Q now focused out. He gets the headbutt, tries to tank the line, but he's not going anywhere as he gets taken down by Whirlib. Two for one after the catch. And the irony in that play, that was the exact same brush Pepinero was hiding it in the second game of the Spring Split where Elements faced off against Giants and he annihilated Froggen. Froggen, he said, I'm gonna lose this game, but I want my revenge. I'm gonna hide in the exact same brush and kill you, Pepinero. So you learn how it feels. Sadly enough, it wasn't enough. Giants pop on the chase them down, and they're looking to close out this game, Pyra. Yeah, they are looking to close it out indeed. One Nexus turret going down. Jay Wow, desperate last charge into the Giant squad, but they don't seem to care. It barely tickles, taking him down. Froggen will fall again. They have lost Whirlib as well, but it just doesn't matter. Shutting down tabs. A triple kill there for Audrey, though. Everything has gone Giants' way this game. They'll finish off the last Nexus turret just to finish the game. All they've got to do is bang on the Nexus, but Dexter and Promise Q are still haranguing in there. Make that just Dexter. He goes back to Fountain. The Nexus is bare, and that is going to be GG. Giants are 2-1.